morning all. Cindy at Prep Your Stead here. And after getting such a great thing in the FedEx delivery yesterday, that lovely chair, I was reclining back and the wind was howling. And this gasket here on my chimney decided to start leaking smoke in the house. So I had to put the fire out and um, now I get to fix it today. Over the last 10 days we have had, uh, what is it? three days with winds with 50 mile an hour gusts with 35 mile an hour constant wind uh, we had four days with 85 mile an hour gusts uh, with 45 mile an hour constant wind that's how I hurt my wrist and I had to take the brace off to do this job um, one of my water totes my 300 gallon water totes actually blew 300 yards down into the creek bed ravine and I had to get it out of there and it rolled over me and it was a horrible thing. Anyhow, I'm going to fix this today. I've got a new pipe on order. The hardware store said it's going to be about 14 weeks for that to come in. So he gave me a good way to do a temporary fix until the new piece of pipe comes in and I can replace the whole thing. Because apparently my box, the pipe here, must have been damaged in the wind because it doesn't make a good seal in there anymore. And the gasket now just slides up and down and all that good stuff. So... I'm going to actually put some pipe cement in here and cement the gasket back in. It's going to take away some of the double wall pipe value. However, because this pipe will end up getting replaced, it'll return it later. I actually have good gapping here to where nothing is in danger even if I went down to a single wall pipe. So I'm still well within pipe safety. Um, and then of course, it's freezing cold in here. It's about 36 degrees in my house right now. And it decided to start snowing. So right here up on the other side of this is the metal roof with snow sitting right on top of it. So it is very cold up here. Um, but anyways, I am absolutely terrified of heights and I have to hang off the loft to get to this. So if you hear any curse words, I apologize in advance. And if you see me go over the edge, you'll know exactly what happened. Um, I was once upon a time in an airplane that was almost first to a crash scene and I don't do heights. But I am going to take this lovely cement that will put the gasket back in there and put it back in. It is really nasty, nasty stuff. Now I don't know how much of it I'm going to use. It actually comes in a squeezy tube in one of those caulk guns. However, because I can't reach the other side of this pipe up here that is absolutely useless to me so I squeezed it all out on a paper plate and I will just go ahead and put it in by hand because that's all I can do um, and I did actually buy an extra tube just in case it does it again before the new piece of pipe comes in since the delay from the manufacturer is so long um, Oh, fuck. Um, but the delay on the pipe is on the manufacturing end. I don't know why, don't care why. I just wanted to have the darn pipe. But no such luck. So instead, I'm going to terrify myself and babble, because I'm terrified, hanging over the edge of the attic. Um, you don't even want to know the process of ladders and spare ladders and not wanting to get trapped up here and... Yeah, this is my, my fear, almost more than spiders. Um, that's going to be fun when I go visit Miss Christy, because she's got big, huge spiders, I hear. And actually, right now, talking about spiders is better than looking down. Um, but when you're homesteading and prepping, just remember... Two is one, one is none. I have three sources of heat in here, but the other two are for smaller areas. And because I don't have the bedroom door and the pantry door on yet, all my heat just flows into the other rooms. So I can't trap the heat yet. Um, those doors are coming soon, um, but I can't help what's going on with all that. All right, that is gross. Now there is extra on this plate and I will actually take and put, oh shit, put it in a vacuum seal bag and vacuum seal it. 
so that I can use it because I squeezed it all out of that tube. That is just nasty. Since I'm not using this hand, I'm going to flip that around. There we go. I'm going to smooth that up onto the gasket to make sure that it's good and tight. And then I will actually go and take and put some on the top of this gasket as well. Oh man, it's cold up here. Oh, gravity. Oh, not my favorite place. My sister would be shocked I'm even up here. Usually, I have someone to help me, like my sister comes out or something like that when I have to do these projects up high. However, both times I've had chimney work to do, my sister has mysteriously not shown up. Um, of course, you know, my travel restrictions haven't been the greatest, but actually I don't know that I'm going to have any extra once I get this all smoothed on there. But when you're homesteading you need and prepping, you need to be prepared for any possible oops and be able to make your temporary fixes and have the equipment and the ability to do so. Um, I suggest people get hardcover books or soft cover, uh, but paper books so that you can have the information handy in a form that doesn't require electricity and get some basic repair skills down because you may find yourself in your attic trying not to look down while hanging off of the ledge, fixing your chimney. Now, this says it takes about three hours to dry. However, with the cold, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna take a little bit longer. So I am going to keep the other heater on and I have a moving blanket out in the shed that I'm going to create some temporary doors so that I can actually get the heat going into just one area. Dang, these gloves suck. Um, it's just pulling it right back off. I actually ended up using the whole tube. But, it's not the prettiest job on earth. But it doesn't need to be. It's a temporary fix until the right parts come in. So as long as it keeps the smoke out of the house, I am a happy person. And then I can go back to enjoying that lovely chair. Which, let me tell you, it was awesome until the smoke started coming in. Um, almost. There we go. Perfect. So... Like I said, when you're homesteading and prepping, you need to, oh man, it leaked. You need to be ready for any eventuality. Um, make sure that you have equipment to repair things on hand. Um, I now have extra of this cement. Um, I've never had to use chimney cement before because you screw the pipes together and that's usually adequate. However, apparently even with the guy wires on my roof and all of the screws inside it was enough to break the connection here because these two pieces don't actually screw together there's a gasket that is supposed to with some kind of sealant that holds them together so different kind of a situation here where they're just supposed to snug in so this box is incredibly vital to your ceiling it keeps the heat it, it disperses the heat so that it doesn't light your roof on fire um, I would have loved to have just replaced this box, however I would have to take off half of my roof to do so. Um, because I don't know if the damage is to the pipe here that comes, comes out of the box and maybe that pipe is what is damaged and actually caused it not to fit. So even when I get this new part in, um, there is no guarantee that that's actually going to fix the problem. Um, if I have to replace this box. It will definitely wait until summer when I can take the roof off um, because I don't know if it comes from this side or that side. Um, 
So I may have to take off 40 feet of roof or just 12 feet of roof. I just don't know. So that's what I've got done here. It's not a, a hard project. It's not a time consuming project, but it's just one of those things when you're homesteading and prepping that you need to be ready for things like this to happen. And I want y'all to be prepared. So I hope you all have a great and warm day because I will certainly be jealous. Have a great day, y'all.